Hi everyone, Kelly Callahan from Algorand here. I'm really excited to be sitting down today to have a chat with Swanit Singh and Vikram Tana, who are both from Exfinite. Uh, Exfinite is a large company, uh, heavy in the media industry in India, and we're going to be having a deep dive on sort of how they're reinventing how content creators and publishers and uh, consumers of those uh, that content are able to sort of interact in a new way uh, through a blockchain-based solution. So, Swanit and Vikram, thanks for joining me. And why don't can you each introduce yourself? Vikram, want to start with you? Yeah. Hi, I come from a media and entertainment background, and I've worked with uh, global consumer entertainment ecosystems like Discovery and Viacom. And blockchain excited me in a big way. So here I am. It's it's been really a great time trying to bring in mass adoption. Our primary motto is to bring blockchain to the media industry. Awesome, Twani. Hey, I come from a finance background, so predominantly spent majority of my life in investment banking, and I think got super excited about blockchain and what it can do for different industries, um, different use cases, and uh, you know started this thing in 2018, and here we are. That's awesome. I love this. I, I'm I'm excited to hear more about this. I spent a good chunk of my career in the on the technology side of the media and entertainment business as well. So, um, and and we're seeing a lot of sort of these new models, especially on Algorand. If you look at someone like CI doing 4.5 million NFTs to represent hundreds of thousands of artists and creators, you know, you look at Opulus where they're trying to do different lending and borrowing models for for artists. Uh, against their royalties. It's really interesting. The models get, can pop up. Before we get into the one that you're disrupting, tell us a little bit more about Exfinite. I know that um, Exfinite has a ton of content in its library and wheelhouse, and I know also a ton of great partnerships with some of those uh, leading publishers. Walk us through who Exfinite is. Yeah, sure. So look, uh, the, the main, uh, the mission of Exfinite is effectively to democratize content, to make sure content is available, premium content is available anytime, anywhere, to anyone. Um, so we've created a, uh, an application called Mazalo. Uh, you know, people can uh, access that application, consume premium content in a variety of Indian languages, and then get incentivized uh, based on our, you know, engagement algorithm, proprietary engagement algorithm, and get incentivized for good behaviors that they perform on the app. Vikram, tell us more about like, because I know that your li your content libraries with Mazalo and Exponite are tremendous. And for our global audience that might not understand how incredibly large and massive the India media market is, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we've got like a depth and width of content. Uh, we've got 25 content partners with us and a large strategic partnership with the Eros Group. This gives us access to Bollywood content built across 40 years in the form of movies, music, originals as well. And this covers like 12,000 films. So it's pretty much democratizing content the way Swanit mentioned to the masses. And when you look at India, it's it's many Indias within one India, right? Uh, you, you've got multiple languages, you've got tier one, tier two, tier three cities. So our objective is really to bring entertainment to the user in a very differential manner and also kind of organizing their time and attention by providing them rewards. Okay, so all right, so all this content as a consumer or a participant in Mazalo or with Exponite, how, um, how is blockchain coming into that model with the rewards and with the consumption of the content? What does that look like? Yeah, so so effectively, um, we have uh, the app where you can access the app. It's a very non-native crypto app. So, you know, a user accessing that app, and we really wanted to focus on this because of the amount of uh, people that we're targeting, uh, can come into an environment which is actually very similar to other, uh, you know, video on demand style environments. They can go in, they can consume content. Uh, what happens is they get rewarded with these coins on the platform. Um, there's a bunch of behaviors that we've listed out. Some of them are social, some of them are engagement based, and then they can use those uh, coins for, you know, a variety of goods and services that are available from the platform itself. So we have around more than 600 partners uh, rewards and loyalty partners, you know, it can be McDonald's, KFC, um, where they can redeem these coins for those type of vouchers, 
but we've also got fun and interactive features on the app, which can which they can you know bid uh, for money can't buy experiences. For instance, a celeb meet and greet with a celebrity, or exclusive movie merchandise, or um, you know electronic goods, etc. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do on there. It's really changing it from a feet up culture to a more lean in style culture uh, from a consumption yeah. standpoint. That's interesting. And and I guess this model is more brand new than it is a, a you know, uh, a second generation version of something that exists, right? Like, like, this is sort of a new model that there hasn't been put into play yet, right? Like, who would you call your competition for doing something unique like this? Well, we believe there are there are, you know, a bunch of global consumers in large scale which do not wish to pay for stream services like Netflix. So ours is a pretty unique model in that sense that we are democratizing content access and you know rewarding consumers for their time and attention. So if you also look at the other part, which is the content assets that we have from Eros, uh, we can work with a bunch of innovative content creators on NFTs. That's where they can make a decent amount of revenue shares along with us. So if you look at users monetization, if you look at content creators making money, it's really set out to make what we say is equitable distribution of revenue creation. And that's what blockchain brings in uh, from a futuristic perspective. It's going to change the way large companies are working today, where data is sitting at one place, where monetization is sitting at one place. And we really uh, are working very, very closely across the ecosystem and entertainment to bring this alive. Hey, just one more thing to add, you know, I think people, uh, you know, in, in the blockchain space, at least, you know, people may have tried to create similar models in the past, but the challenge has really been to get that depth uh, of content um, and that variety of content. And that that's, I think, our key differentiator here. And you have made the decision to do this, to launch this platform, this model on Algorand. Um, which we're super excited about. Tell us about, you know, why Algorand? Why'd you make that choice? Sure. Look, um, you know, f- from our perspective, uh, I think it was a very, uh, we went through a four month evaluation process uh, where our tech teams evaluated different chains. And for us, what we saw, uh, firstly, you know, the, the mindset of the organizations were very similar. But secondly, we, we felt that, um, you know, the throughput, the technology, the scalability, uh, transactions per second, um, all of that was a lot superior to all the other chains that we were evaluating. And so when we look, you know, when we look at scale and millions of users on our platform, then that would be the chain that would be able to support us the most. And we, you know, share, Kelly, as you know, we share a fantastic relationship with you. So we're really excited to be part of the Algorand ecosystem. Yeah, I think it's great. And again, with that, we hear this a lot, right? Just with the sheer ambition and vision that you have in terms of scalability and the low cost that you need to make it all come to fruition. I think that's yeah. fantastic. And you and just bring it up to full speed. So there is a token that you there's an ASA, an Algorand Standard Asset token that's part of this model. It's the XET. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and we, you guys have uh, recently launched that. Like, tell us, tell me more about what it is, what point it's at, and then what the value of it is. It's really early days at the moment, I would say, and you know, I think that uh, like any every you know entrepreneurs like us, we, you know, we we're looking at this at a, as a long term. The team's locked in for about three years, um, and and you know that sort of shows our long term nature. Um, you know, our relationship with you is also long term, and. And, uh, you know, we launched on MEXC, we're looking at launching on BitMart uh, by the end of this month, and we've got a plan for more uh, centralized exchanges as well as, uh, as you know, DEXs that, you know, there'll be a couple of DEXs live before the end of this year in the Algorand ecosystem. So, uh, you know, we're, we're really excited about that. And what does the XCT sort of represent? Is it... Um... How are people using it? Is it in the is the XCT the reward token coming out of interacting with the content? Yes, there 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 is a plan in the future to actually make that interchangeable with uh, with uh, not only uh, our own token on Mazalo but actually other tokens as well. But yes, that is the idea. 
Um, you know, it's the exposure to the to the amount of users on the platform. Uh, you know, when the MVP goes live and you're able to see all the wallets that are created, uh, you know, that that will be, uh, you know, the main purpose of the token. And XET stands for Exponite Entertainment Token. So it's a whole host of, you know, it's effectively a holistic entertainment ecosystem. Awesome. Very exciting. And how so uh, how many users are within Mazalo? Is that the right question? How many users do you have on Mazalo right now? Yeah, look, we 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 don't wanna we don't wanna give it away too early, but we can say that, All that right. yeah, yeah, there's there's definitely you know, we've had um you know pro more than four million user registrations, um, you know, time spent time spent on the platform is really excellent and you know, we're really targeting this to be, you know a 20 30 50 million user database type of company and do you think do you think most of your users will be geographically centric to india or will it be you know indian languages around the globe so so basically if you look at our content we are in 10 plus indian languages uh, and the whole target audience is indians in india which is across the length and breadth of the country which is 1.4 billion population and we're also talking to the large engine diaspora, which is there globally, uh, which will get access to premium content in a very unique way again. So primarily the target audience is pretty much worldwide. And once we are there with this model, uh, we, we hope to kind of replicate it and amplify it to appeal to the global user base as well. Awesome, that is fantastic. Well, congratulations to both of you on the success so far. What uh, what's next? What should sort of the Algorand community and beyond look for next from Exponite, from Zalo, from the XCT? So I think definitely collaboration with other ecosystem projects is definitely one thing you should look forward to. Uh, you know the decks, uh, the dexes that are coming up. Um, you know the the MVP of the product, um, as well as some very 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 interesting NFT announcements that we might be uh, announcing soon. Awesome, super exciting. All right, Vikram, Swanit, anything else you want to share? No, thank you for having us so much. And, uh, you know, we, we really look forward to being uh, part of the, uh, you know, long-term vision of, um, of Algorand, as well as, uh, you know, how Algorand can help us grow. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Vikram. Thank you, Swanit.